Good Saturday morning, everybody, and welcome back to some more Slay the Spire action here, where you two can join in in my saltiest endeavors to <laughs> beat this game on Ascension Plus. Hey, this is one thing I haven't done in a while. I haven't checked the patch notes in forever. My friends have been telling me because they haven't played the game just as much as I do. No, they don't. But they actually read, so there's a little difference. There's been a lot of updates here that maybe I could have... Oh, not get the sneeze in my mouth here. Mm. Nose, mouth, you know, just don't try not to sneeze into the mic here, even though you have the pop filter here. I just don't want to get it all covered in the sick germs, man. What have I missed out as far as patches are concerned? I want gameplay stuff. Bug fixes are cool, you know, helps the game get released here in the uh, next four days when Slay the Spire officially releases from the day of this video. Stone Calendar got buffed. I think I saw Meal Ticket got buffed. Bomb Card got buffed. Stone Calendar. Stone Calendar. <laughs> Stone Calendar. Calendar. Mmm, yes. Uh, 52 for flavor. We all know why. Reaper now heals the correct amount of the player has the boot relic. Ooh. Very minor. Meal Ticket normal response on 48. 448. Cool. Meal Ticket buff. That's what I mentioned. I, I'm not seeing too much here. Yelling Trip now, Relic now triggers after card draw base effects? Base Relic effects? Oh, so like things like a bag of prep can actually add on to it. Okay, yeah. Stabs one less time per Ascension 18. Thank you. Coliseum event is now... What? Grand Knob plus Taskmaster. Guess what? That still means I don't think I do that on Ascension Plus. Because uh, it's still hard, but that's way better. You can actually fight that as a silent now and not feel bad, I think. Spire growth nerfed, yes. Writhing mass nerfed, also yes, but you know, I don't even see the spaghetti lord that much. All right, there's your intro video today. We got some patch changes here. I mean, we're not on Ascension 18, so I don't know if those buffs really are gonna help us out too, <coughs> excuse me there, too, too much. We'll see, but it's Saturday. This should be a good day for gameplay. I mean, I woke up at 1.30 today. Uh, I, I slept for like 12 hours. It's just a sign that, you know, we're back on the work schedule here and uh, I'm getting the four to five hours of sleep every night. And again, what are you saying out there? Oh, you should get more sleep. I should, you're right, but I need to enjoy my life. Playing this game right now? You give me all the enjoyment I need. I'm thinking lose all gold or move two cards, because we can, ugh, I mean, it's actually scary if we don't get anything good, but if we do get something good, these early fights could be amazing. Or we can just get a random rare card and then hit up an early shop and maybe pivot, let's see. The early shop is not on a good path there, because that's awful. The left path is like the best path, and I can actually stack up the 100 gold, so we can use that as a sort of like um, a positive reinforcement. I, guess. I don't know, there's an easier way to say that. I, was, I don't know why I think it's so hard for like high level vocabulary words. But basically, 100 gold, we save it up after we go through all this hell and ideally not get robbed. Spend it all right there. And see what's going on. Hmm. All right. So I actually saw some of my uh, college friends the other day. Uh, not often I run over to the university there, but they were holding an event. I was supposed to hang out with a friend that day, and then I got let out of work early, i.e. I finished on time. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I said I was going to be late, and they were doing something with the car, so I'm like, okay, that's that's fine. I can just um, hold off on uh, Iron Wave, probably. Heading over there. And then I went to the, uh, the campus there. They were doing a smash event, so one, room smelled bad. You think I'm joking? It smelled a little weird, didn't smell bad. But two, someone was playing Ascension 20 Slay the Spire. I'm like, oh my god, he's already surpassed me. The seed I've planted has already gone this far. And I watched him play, I'm like, wow, that seems like smart play, but it also feels like he got good card draws, but it's reinforced my will to, uh, you know, make good decisions. And right now, that good decision has put me on pause here, because I don't know if I want any of these. I'm thinking Iron Wave, just because, you know, it's, it's a little bit of damage, but it kind of sucks. It's, it's like decent, but like I'm not looking for decent. I'm looking for good or exceptional or better so I can make a godlike deck. So I'm going to pass on that. I will dip my hand in here. One dip. Hun oh, meat on the bone. I was going to say a dip in the honey pot. It's like a honey baked ham we pulled out there. Meat on the bone is very good because more than likely I'm going to be on fucking death's door for most of this run and I will want that spare HP. So this is going to heal me up quite a bit alongside the uh, burning blood. We'll have some nice healing synergy there. And there's no issues in slow rolling this outside of the ever-increasing slimes he's giving me, but... Like, come on. 
took the moment to do the math there. I've known long enough. Bash into strike is always going to be that extra nine damage. So we don't have any damage cards that have been upped <laughs> from this current run. Uh, we have to fight an elite. I'm actually going to take the pommel strike just so I have a chance to do some damage here. Uh, and we're likely going to upgrade that pommel strike here if um, nothing else comes from it. Just so I can have a one big hitting card. I don't lose too much damage along the way. And that was a fine little play there. No damage. A little extra damage there. All damage here, please. Thank you. One more turn of all damage. I think we can crush him dead. Pommel is good. The strike is good. The strike is good. It was a bit of a gambit there, but it did pay off. More damage, please. Um, the rupture is not something I want. Headbutt is something I wouldn't mind. Solid damage. This becomes 10. This becomes 12. The decision was made. The die has been cast. We go for the 12 smack. Okay. We don't have any AoE to really deal with this. I think we'll go halvesies. Take 5. Deal 12. If I can go halvesies here, we'll do it. Okay, here I think you just go for strictly damage, which is going to pay off very well. So we're only taking half again. Half of what could have occurred. Still 10. Still sucks, but if we get below 40, we'll get the meat on the bone benefit. And I think we go for you. Probably should. Let's go pommel strike. If we draw out a daze, that'd be great. Uh, I get a block, so I'll actually meet you halfway there. We can go halvesies. As long as we get one block and some strikes, I'll be okay with this. I mean, this turn is also a free play. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that occurred between now and the last recording there? I mean, it, I worked. I, I did this sort of like a, a pre-record. I haven't done one of those in a while. Even though I tried to do that for the mini vacation that I was on. Uh, just It just didn't happen. Like, that's just the reality of that situation. I tried. <laughs> it's hard for me to sit down in this place, lay the spire for hours and hours on end. Unless I really want to. And like, you know, you gotta really want that. Uh, love the game. I just don't know if I love it enough to sit there for six hours straight. Certain games can do that. I don't know if Slay the Spire falls in that core, and before anyone starts booing me and calling me the Slay the Spire heathen for that. It's just it's just a good game, but it, it takes a lot of a brain power. And you don't at me about brain power as well, because I know. Where's your brain power? Listen, I'm trying. I'm doing my best out here. I'm putting up a good battle as best as I can. Give me some mercy. So do you... <laughs> Beta art. The damage going up and the cost going down is always nice. 22 damage for one. Well, this was the elite fight, so things are going to get a little easier. We want just good hitting cards. Uh, cleave is... its a. I wonder if I should take Cleave, just because... The AoE option to do damage to multiple targets, such as like a very annoying elite fight on the second floor I may get stuck in. Let me ask this. Do I have enough with what I'm currently running here to take on this um, boss fight at the end of the tunnel. No. If I get blood for blood and upgrade that, will I have a nice big hitting card that I could probably fall back on with headbutt if there's a rotational piece of damage to take care of this elite fight and other elite fights, potentially. But we're gonna do that. I do need some defense cards so I can really uh, get a benefit out of that. But yeah, we're gonna upgrade that. So that's 22 damage on one. And if need be, we can play that in a very fringe situation with all of our energy. Toxic egg. We have the eggs, though. Powers and skills getting upgraded. We want to make sure we grab those. This is already going to be a bigger immediate value. And here I could actually thin out my deck a little bit more. So let's do that. That's one thing I did see them do is they got this event. If they have the means, they go for the thinning. It's probably the uh, knowledgeable thing because uh, thinning is probably going to be good. Or... <coughs> oh, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me there. I faced away from the mic. I don't know how loud it's going to be. I don't really go back to watch the recordings unless I have something I really need to look out for to see if the sound was good. Hold hold the phone. Gotta hydrate there. Okay. <clears throat> Best thing I can upgrade here? Pommel Strike. Draw two extra cards. If we get some more um, energy items and relics, this will be a nice little addition, but otherwise it's, it's for the damage up. Ooh. Nasty turn. Very nasty turn here. Take an 8. So we will get the meat on the bone to proc here, but I do need this to end quickly. Oh, here we go. Blood for blood into the headbutt. Put it back on top. There's instantly our KO. If we can uh, split it up a little bit, I'd like to... Yeah. I'd like to do something like this. So you go... Wham. 
and Kablooey. We're getting really low, so we're likely gonna do a rest on that final fireplace, but... Okay, hang on. Hold the fucking phone. Put that back on top. Get it for free. Okay. Oh, that's it's 18 healing. I will not complain. You want to give me magical flower on this run? I will not complain either. Both good options. Battle Trance is good for draw. And right now, the big damage source that we're drawing into is blood for blood. So keep that little engine running. Shuriken. Nice scaling option there. Finesse Plus just makes me happy. Medical Kit. That would make power through extremely good if I do get it. Like, extremely good. That's tempting. That is very tempting. Cause, oh my lord. This is the synergy right there with power through, by the way. You... You play this. You get this. You play power through. It gives you, like, 15 block. And then you can exhaust two extra cards. It gives you 23-ish block. Or more. That's... Oh, that's tempting. <laughs> Now we're exhausting any other cards at this moment. No, so it's a bit of a dead draw, but if I do get that card, that's really good. Happy Flower is nice. I do like Finesse as well. There's a lot of things I would love to get right here. And mind you, this is only like a one-turn gambit for like good good defense options, but I think... I think I want that, because I don't think Shuriken's going to work. We don't really... I mean, Blood for Blood will be the only other way we can make it prop, because... uh. Most turns we're going to be doing a mix of defense. Happy Flower is really good. The one in, one out of every three turns you get the extra energy is just a nice little get. <laughs> Finesse is just wonderful for many reasons. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. If we see power through, I need I need to turn on my brain here and remember, you should play it because like it is a is a good thing to do behind it. It's gonna get you some serious benefits. Some serious benefits. You're gonna be able to exhaust the cards, and you gotta remember to exhaust the cards. I just gotta like turn my brain on here and remember to do this in the right order. So battle trance first. I will feel no pain. I will pommel strike, and I will headbutt back pommel strike. To make this happen. And this guy gives me a uh, slime, so I can get a little bit of added benefit there. So you go bash first, and then you go for pommel for 15 smackaroonies. You guys split at 27 apiece. They're both giving me the lick. Fine by me. I think we'll just go for one big smack there. Guaranteed finish him off in a second. The defense down does not phase me. The 10 damage you're trying to do to me here also not phasing me. Head my back. Blood for blood. Block twice because it's going to get a little cheaper. So we'll take four. Get blood for blood. Be able to play that alongside one other damage card. We'll be able to move on here. Hey, look at that. Sick brain. Shockwave is wonderful in a lot of ways. It's also upgraded. Thank you to the Relic pieces there. 44 HP is a little too low in my opinion, but I think I need to push it here. I will grab an upgraded block. I will take an upgraded block for this. This is a sign that the run has gone very good. The deck is thin. We have cards we like. We can utilize this to great success. And if worse comes to worse, pop the Strength Potion to guarantee your success. I think I will do that. So I had a feeling it was a bit of a risk, um, and I probably should have just done the damage, so fuck me for that. Yeah, extremely, like, overly risky. Might cost me the run. I could have avoided that damage. Okay, it's fine. Uh, don't, get your, don't get yourself down on these kind of plays. It's fine. I'm willing to take the two damage here to make this cheaper, but I think we're fine just, like, letting it slide for now. Because the 12 damage might occur here. Same situation here. I will take the two damage. Make the other card cheaper. Try and save what little HP I have, because I have made some bad mistakes here. And then you do this rotation as much as you can. To keep yourself healthy. I'm gonna take the uh, block opportunities to make sure I'm having blocks come up on tap there. And thank you to Battle Trans for allowing that to happen very consistently. Um, 
We're gonna get enough block on the next turn, so end. We have to play it a little slow now because I uh, botched one of those turns there. I would have a nice 27 extra HP if I wasn't eager. Uh, I am just gonna play it to get the damage out because I am in a dangerous position here. This position, dangerous position. Oh, thank God. Do that so we can get through some draws quicker. Push him down on the next turn there. That's just so I can guarantee, like, draw into my big damage card again very fast. And thanks to this, I can headbutt back. Good block. Take one damage for it, and we should be able to finish him off here. Okay, nearly threw this one away. Nearly threw it away again, but... <laughs> uh, we made it. Smile. Let's keep moving on here. I can remove status cards. Emulate is perfectly fine to grab. Move up to two cards from your deck. Yes. We have a game plan. So I am going to go for this. I would like the extra energy, but I think I want to try this. Super thin deck. We can add two more good cards in a mix of that. Something that exhausts. We can have some exhaust energy. There's a lot of things we can do here. World is looking good. And we can go through this floor without fighting a singular elite. But you're missing out on a relic. I'm missing out on living if I don't. Easy turn here. Almost strike to start. Get the shockwave out. I know, it'll come around and we'll be fine. I want to get my feel no pain out because that's going to give me a lot more block. Before that, we will throw Battle Trance back on top. We get feel no pain out. Any daisies we get, we're going to get some serious blockage from it. So, wham. Bam. Going to block twice here. And then we need to start doing some damage here in a second. Okay, 11. I can take 11. But blood for blood for 24. Block for 8. Get the additional blocks from the feel no pain. And we're looking good. Ooh, we're looking good. Did give myself more daisies to make that happen. It's just so I can actually have some... Uh, Guaranteed block sort of on tap there. And that does work out for me. Yes, I was hoping for bash, actually. So we can actually... Bash, and then headbutt back. Almost strike for the kill there, and then... Do that, because there's no reason to play those. It's just giving myself more dazes, but more dazes means more opportunities to block, so I don't mind getting them. Just uh, gotta watch out for it. Burning Pact. You can make this deck extremely thin. I kind of like it for, you know, the status things that I could just exhaust normally, but now I can, you know, utilize with a burn. Gets me some more draw. It, it's a little fickle right now. Like, right now, this this little curse I could get would be the annoying bit, but I have to worry about it. So I can pop on that, get some more max HP. Gotta worry here, because it's a lot of pain. So much so I am going to drink this. Not the chance of getting anything else to help me and, you know, no such luck. So we'll be real low. We need to rest at the next, uh, fire place. I'll bash because it's free. I will headbutt because it's also free. I will get back the blood for blood because it'll be guaranteed cheap. And we will block for eight. Hey, that upgraded block's already paying dividends. Blood for blood costs three. Fuck you. Okay, I mean, we draw it one more time, we can finish him off here, but he is blocking up. It's 21 damage. So we need to hope to get some more... Some of these, uh, damage cards for free. And we did not, so he's gonna get away with a little bit of our cash. Alright, you know the bone's gonna heal me back up to a nice 30-ish. <sighs> cash is down. So, the unfortunate bit. Uh, second battle trance I think is fine. We have a lot of draw options and now we do need some actual, you know, give me cards that I can play options. Huh. Limit break would be that card, but I cannot afford it. I am gonna grab it. It's upgraded. It's 11 blocks to one. I'm gonna grab this potion as well just to keep myself going and that's that. <laughs> Fireplaces, please. This guarantee gives you the, uh, spiked horn. So... Also guaranteed give me a curse I don't want. I'm going to go for the upgrade, I think, because we can upgrade a, a bit of things. 
And it is Suck Lord, so having this do 28 to everyone, get a double tap will guarantee clear out his uh, minions whenever they uh, arrive. Okay. Battle transfers. Give me a shockwave to start us off. Gonna burn out, to get draw three more cards here. Don't think there's a need, just play something for damage. All right. Anything can happen now. I will feel no pain. I will emulate. Not emulate. Police will come knocking at the door there. Hey, you, you're playing Final Fantasy VIII on your computer, are you? It's like, excuse me, sir, this game came out on Steam. Back off. No, it's not how that would go. <laughs> and we will get a little bit more blocked from this exhausting itself, so I'm not worried about damage here. I don't know, did police actually go around back in the day? Like, you know, it's like, hey, you gotta stop that emulation of those NES games. Did they? Was that something that they would do? I don't know. I wasn't really alive during that generation to be a part of the conversation. We'll play the potion here so we can uh, guarantee no damage, because that's a nasty turn. Free turn here. Free turn to do damage. Play the burn, because it, you know, gives us armor. Uh, kill him. Sweet. Meat on the bone, keeping me above threshold. Disarm, it's another utility. The damage is extremely low here, but having the utility for that is going to be pretty sweet. And I will feel no pain and emulate out the gate here. Zero fucking shame. Extreme benefit. No regrets. Shockwave actually gave me some block alongside it. But just enough, and then we can squeeze out nine more damage there. Just waiting to emulate to come out again so I can play it. Um... And we can make it happen right now. So headbutt, put emulate on top, battle trance, play emulate, take some damage, but I've done a lot in return. Put myself under a meat on the bone threshold, and then just fucking clobber them. These will exhaust themselves, and I will get some dazes from that. So this is fine. Twenty-four. How about no? Pommel. Battle. And blood. We're doing it. It's the definition of gaming. There's a spot weakness, so there's our end game scaling. Comes in the form of a four plus strength every other turn or so. A 52 HP is enough to ooh, justify an upgrade, and I'm fine upgrading my basic blocks. I have no shame in doing so. Upgrade bash, upgrade bash. No. Bash is there to, you know, serve a purpose early game, and for the most part, I believe it is still a trap. You should rest here. I could, yeah, but uh, getting all my blocks off to plus eight in a twenty-card deck that is full of just greatness is what I want. Disarm, so I never have to worry about your damage again. Um, we do need to worry about you, regardless. Let's see if we can't actually mix up our focus here because you are debuffed. So you're not hurting me. Not too crazy. Okay, you still can't hurt me. This is a, a fact of life I'm now realizing. Uh, go ahead and do it like this. We got some end gain scaling there, and then this will daze out so we get another four block. Okay, plus four strength up. Yeah, these are the turns that I'm looking for to not have to worry about anything. Okay, so I do want to get some block and something drawn, but I can't get anything drawn from that, so I'll strike you. One, two, three, that's going to be 12 additional block. You're doing 18. I have enough, so I'm just going to let those fade away. I forgot about my curse there, giving me a little bit extra. No one's attacking, huh? So be it. One more turn like that, and we'll be able to take care of the bird here. Still not an issue. You will play Battle Trance. See if you can fizz out some more dazes there. Could do a lot of bit of damage here, but I think getting the shockwave out is pretty important. And hilariously enough, I'm actually going to play Burning Pact because it causes another exhaust to occur. It causes the uh, letter opener to occur. It gives me another daze that I'm hoping to just draw right now for some extra block that I should have known we were not going to get because uh, <laughs> the uh, card that prevents from drawing extra block. And maybe you'll put me. Is that half? Is that half? Calculator. 25 divided by 2. It should be like, I'm not going to say like 42.5. Yeah, 
Yeah, 42.5. So we want to get chunked a little lower here so we can get some healing back. Weirdly enough, that is what we want. Continue softening you up. Yeah, we get chunked just a little bit. We want to be below 42 to get some healing out of this. So if I can uh, make it happen, I would. But I don't want to do it like that. So we'll see if we can't let this guy chunk us just a little bit. Okay, we're just going to be here for a minute. That's fine. I would like to utilize the uh, extra HP gains here. So no shame in slow rolling it. Just need you to do some actual damage. And if he ever dares to try and attack me with something bigger, like, oh, and it's not going to give you the multi tackle, I'll give you the Kamehameha wave. Okay, so be it. I'll just fucking dust you and move on with my life. 13. So we'll go. What? We'll take five, which will put us exactly where we need to be. Didn't think that one through. Did I? No. Uh, additional disarm. So we get minus six a boss. Oh. Pray to duplicate. Um. What would I like to duplicate in this deck? I think a second emulate's not bad. A second feel no pain would be outstanding for when we get the uh, pieces. But I think we do need the damage. Emulates are essentially four block. They're giving us four block cards. Would want something better when the situation arises, but. It'll essentially give us four block. If I could double up on another card, I would get the uh, power there for defensive synergy, but... Uh -uh. Okay. Battle Trance out the gate. Disarm out the gate secondarily. This will give me four block. This will give me eight. This will give me 12. I'll take a little damage here, and that's fine. Do a little damage in return. And again, if we get below that threshold, we can get some uh, HP back. Spot up. Block up. Strike up. We are going to get put below the threshold right now. That's exactly where we want to be. So we take no more damage. Tremendous. I think here you just shockwave and disarm, actually. Hilariously enough. So now he has negative six and a debuff. He's only doing three damage on his attacks. It's actually so sad. I almost feel bad for him, but no, I don't. Because this fight fucking sucks 90% of the time. So let my thin deck fucking thrive. It's a thin deck. Don't be weird. All right. Dust him. <laughs> good. An additional shrug it off is good block. And uh, there's nothing to really upgrade, so I don't feel bad having to rest here. Fuck, give me the fusion hammer in this deck right now. It's because of the eggs that we're getting such a great synergy going on. I will bash. And I will strike, as far as the openers are concerned. I will feel no pain. I will block. I will dig, and I got a disarm, which is something I was okay with getting. So, little damage here is fine. We got max HP to spend. Not concerned. We got spot weaknesses, we got shockwaves. It's gonna give me eight block here as well, so this is still a fine turn. Good. Eh, meh. Okay, and now we need to start returning fire. So we will go blood for blood. Headbutt, shrug it off, blood for blood, move on with our life. Trash has been cleared in a way I wasn't expecting. We've been debuffed ourselves. Continue to disarm, like, this fool has no idea the power that he has awakened within me. And we can take this damage willy-nilly, because we just have that much HP. Bad turn for spot weakness, good turn for emulate. Let's draw a few more cards. Let's not, because we can't. <laughs> Mystery turn, last turn of debuff action. Nice, got Blood for Blood out. Okay. It's gonna get a little harder here, but he does have minus strength, so it's not gonna be too insane. Very good, we can actually emulate here. Gonna headbutt the big boss, gonna grab emulate back. We'll play this out for the burn here to reduce the damage, and we'll emulate one more time and take care of the trash. Because he's getting to a point where he could kill me. In one fell swoop. I am not dead. I thought I was dead. I am not dead. I'm very close to dead. I'm playing a very fast and loose here. Fast and loosey-goosey. I need blocks. Uh, please don't let me lose this run. 
Okay, that is a card that'll give me block. So give me some block. Now it'll give me some block. Okay. We're leveraging here. Spot weakness has arrived. I don't think I need spot weakness anymore. I just need damage. And there's damage. Go back, blood for blood, burn this out. Mmm, he wants to kill me, huh? You want to kill me, huh? How about I just kill you instead? I play that really terribly, but thankfully the deck is good enough to allow that. Double tap is insane for what we're doing. Uh, I'm not really utilizing potions either, so give me a Sozu. Feather could be the sustain we might need, but as long as I just play it smart here, fine. We also don't have that thick of a deck, so Feather's not too great. And we don't have to fight any elites. We can get a shop as well. Carry me. Carry me to victory, please. Who's the final boss fight, by the way? It's... Die, Lord. Okay. So not a great start, but we can make something happen here. More strength or some block? Give me some block. We need to conserve. Emulate, dust one. Blood for blood, nearly dust another, but we need to defend again. This will give me some extreme block value. We'll do it like that. Because we are going to take a lot regardless here. We're one point off of being below the threshold we need to be at. Uh, but we will try to end this fight if at all possible. No, not possible at all. Hey, we ended it. Didn't consider that. Okay, instantly we are in like a very particular HP position. That's okay. It's expected. Disarm. Get one of these. Go for the double tap so I can play this for 20 damage. And I can take the 8 to put me below the threshold and I can draw back good cards like that. And that. So I'll take the damage, get below the threshold we want to be at. And then just dust them. There you go. Good. And Tropic Brew. Okay, that's a card I would like, but unfortunately cannot get. Sword Boomerang is a good damage card once we get our strength scaled up. So that'll be an endgame card for me. So I have some big damage. Lose all gold, obtain the relic. Um, I would like that for a lot of reasons. Namely, just because of the combats on this floor, getting that debuff out the gate is kind of nice, but I think I can get something better from the shop. No, this is a fight that the thing would be good at, but I don't want to waste it there. Um, an additional double tap is tremendous, as far as damage is concerned. Can I get both of these? I can only get one. Ooh, it hurts. Because getting four block for free is pretty swell. Getting double tap will guarantee bigger burst damage. It's just larger, it's harder to justify because um, I'm playing a lot of cards against Time Lords. So I think I'll go for this. It's not the greatest decision in the world, but I can't really afford to get more double taps on the uh, battles here because, oh, well, they gotta, gotta play them. And playing them involves making a six card turn happen, which is good for damage, but I can't just do that for free every single turn, unfortunately. This, however, right here is a good turn. He had a bad day. The uh, fortunate beast here. We're not taking any damage. That's okay. Let's let it slow roll. A free turn to do damage. Um, emulate. Sword boomerang for just a little bit more. A strike. He gets some strength ups going here. Ideally. There's a spot weakness. Okay, we're taking 12 damage here. Not great. What about the spot weakness so we can scale a little quicker? And he's putting me close to the threshold I want to be at again, so by all means, perhaps you want to keep this up. Double strike. Okay, only one damage. Great. The armor's already paying dividends on that card I picked up, so I'm grateful I did. Go battle transfers, looking for bash. No such luck. Play sword boomerang. Emulate an additional 10 damage. I was thinking about burning it out, but um, 
Oh, well, hang on to that strike. 34, not what I want. Not at all, boys. We will be doing it like this. It could have, I did, the blocks were necessary, so. I was gonna say, is that a misplay? No, it's not a misplay. That was exceptionally acceptable. Okay, still getting the meat on the bone healing, which is probably the only reason why this run is still going. Body slam. You can have a defending block turn. I just don't know if I want to thicken up the deck with too much stuff at this point. We're already at 26, which is getting on the normal end of a 30 guard finisher, but I don't know. The game plan really is to scale and block, scale and block. Head, shoulder, scale and block, scale and block. We do have two disarms that are going to buy us a lot of time against the Time Lord, though, which is really great. You need to draw this in conjunction with the block, so you got one, two, you know, and additionally another one, three, four, five, six cards out of the 26. I don't think it ju I can justify it. I don't know if I would go on a battle trance. I think I wouldn't mind it just because we are getting to the cards we need to get to uh, quickly with battle trance, so. Uh, no, I will still not upgrade. Bash is like, well, I'll upgrade Bash if I have nothing better to do, which is about to happen right here, so. I will upgrade Bash here. Catch me upgrading these strikes. Just fucking leave. Don't don't ever come back. You don't want to see this horror. Okay. Altrans. Spot. Block. The Talicize for some additional block. Headbutt back. The spot weakness. Endgame scaling. 15 block on a 20 damage turn. Solid. I know he was going to be attacking again, so we can pop this. Who is scary? Yeah, I did I get the chunk I didn't want. But we have to sort of kill this guy before things get out of control. Okay, feel the pain is good. We just need to get a lot of block here, because some bad things are about to happen. And that is enough block, so good. Got the extra energy for him killing himself, unfortunate. And it's gonna hurt, but it ends the fight immediately, so we will go for that. Rampage is a scaling option? I don't think we really care. <laughs> that sums up the conversation there. It's hey, maybe not. Okay. I will battle trance. I will disarm you for this turn, because you're the one hurting me. Drug it off. We'll block. Cinder's Bane's gonna exhaust itself for a little more block. It's not gonna make a difference here, but all right. I somehow have chosen blindly and made the correct choice there, so that's good. We'll do 32 damage to everyone. We'll do 14. Can't really stop that. I can get six less block damage done to me here. Do it like that and get four block in the process. And we're below the threshold again. It's fine. 40 is a good HP to be at. For things, not a lot of other good reasons, per se. Because of reasons. It's good. Trust me. Uh, headbutt back the emulate and then strike him down. Oh. <coughs> Sneeze! Oh. Excuse me. I felt I felt it coming. Oh. Wait, I just drew out emulate, but then I, okay, I didn't really think that through. I forgot I have gremlin orm. We gotta remember all the pieces we got running in the deck here. Hey, 58 HP still. Second wind scares me because I don't want to exhaust my skill cards. It would give me an insane block energy. I need the I need power through is what I was asking for, not that card. I will still rest. Don't even look. It's two strikes. Trust me. The deck is completely upgraded. Minus two strikes. Just to see what we have. I don't have to take. It's just to see. Free vulnerability is pretty good. Enlightenment is also pretty good. That's an enlightenment plus, by the way. Discovery is pretty good. Flash steel, not so much. I will take the the two weakening cards. I want to take Discovery. Because if I can discover a power, that's good. I think I can justify taking Discovery here. This turned out to be really great. Everything's also upgraded, so don't at me. And this is a very good chance to beat this boss. Throw the poison on immediately, get that power out, get the disarm out, get the shockwave out. It's a rough first turn for damage, but we got a lot of our good things out for this opener. The slimes, that's, that's additional blocks. Disarm again. He's only doing minimal damage to me. Extremely minimal damage to me. 
I think we might have this. Okay. 19. It's still a lot, so don't don't shrug it off. Or, like, well, do shrug it off, but don't, like, you know, let him uh, fool you into thinking that's A-OK -okay right now. And we can make a proc happen. Okay, another turn for damage. I will discover... For this moment, double tap Carnage is fine. Keep the weakness going. Yeah, that's this is actually gonna work. Some strength up here. Turns I can squeeze out the strength of his goods. There's the feel no pain that I wanted. Spot the weakness. Just looking for the big blocks here, and I'm A-OK -okay just blocking up on this turn. It's nine. Gone up to 12. Still making my way downtown. Slowly. The playing those does cost the turn some actions, but it's fine. Going for the push, I think. So. Bash into Emilade. Yep, there's the push. 240. Alright, we just gotta endure the last bit of this. Blind is a huge get. Burning Pact on one of these slimes is even better than just playing it outright. Battle transiting for some additional blocks. Okay, discovering something to block. Okay. Sever Soul will... help. It's a scary one, but... No, gimme, give gimme give True Grit. It hit the block. Okay, not really ideal. Play the burn for some block. And you can only just headbutt back a singular card. Go ahead and headbutt back that battle trance. Or the discovery. I'm looking for something big to save me here. Okay, this is a fine turn to just play it out, but... Infernal Blade, it exhausts itself. Gave me Perfected Strike, which is weak shit. I could take the, the skip there. Getting some garbage in our deck, but we can burn it out. 30. Not ideal. Could burn this out for a little extra block, but this damage is really good right now. Okay, we're taking 10. 27. These are the big turns I'm afraid of. Let's let's do some actions here first. I think you just go for the damage. You just go for the damage. You're so close, you can almost taste it. Goodbye, Carnage. I didn't want you to exist anymore anyway. Thank you for your service. Okay, trip. Block. Strike. Block. We have this. We need one good attack, and it's over. And that'll do it! Oh yeah, brother. K. Kona. That's it. See? He can do it. It's the power of the de-stress. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ascension Mode 20 unlocked with the Ironclad. The credits are wonderful. We've seen them every other month, I feel like. All we got left is the Silent, and then we gotta do one more run through, and then I've made it. And my body's like, like, hey, hey, you trying to speak? Let me just give you some ugh, issues here. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's another George in the books. Just gotta give me some time and let me turn on my brain and we can do it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend here, the extended MLK weekend, and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Take it easy, everyone.